Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Netball is where we begin. Jamaica's Sunshine Girls recorded the widest margin of victory at the America's Netball World Cup qualifiers being held at the National Indoor Sports Center, scoring a crushing 70-16 win over the United States last evening. After the USA's opening goal, the Jamaicans were in front for the remainder of the contest to finish with quarterly leads of 18-7, 38-8 and 55-13. Goal shooter Amanda Pinkney led the way for the Sunshine Girls with a 92% shooting accuracy, converting 22 goals from 24 attempts. Goal attack Giselle Allison supported with a 23 from 30, while captain Janine Fowler, who played only the first quarter, scored 13 from 15, and Kelsey Jonas, 12 from 13. Now for the Americans, goal shooter Oshina Graham and 17-year-old goal attacker Anyan Langen each had six goals. Jamaica, who are playing only for world ranking points, will meet the Cayman Islands in their next game this evening at 6.25 with live coverage on Hits 92 FM beginning at 6.20. In other games last evening, Grenada outscored Antigua and Barbuda 62-29. Trinidad and Tobago beat St. Vincent and the Grenadines 49-42, while Barbados defeated St. Lucia 58-26. Trinidad and Grenada are leading the race for the two qualifying spots to next year's World Cup in South Africa, having won all three games played so far to share joint leadership on six points. Now, six-time world champion Shelley and Fraser Price says receiving another national award has shown her that the country is serious about honoring its athletes for their achievements. The 35-year-old who won her fifth 100-meter world title in Oregon last summer has was conferred with the Order of Jamaica at the National Honors and Awards Ceremony at King's House on Heroes Day. And the fact that Jamaica is a small country and we continue to dominate the world and we continue to show the world that not because we're small, not because we don't have world-class you know, uh, facilities like a lot of the other countries, we're able to show up. And I think being able to be recognized for that achievement, you know, our achievement and the work that we do is, is, is wonderful. And you know, we, we are not paid by the government of Jamaica. So as a... Uh, Again, to be celebrated is truly remarkable. It means that they care and they want to see us excel in what we do. In the meantime, world 200 meter champion Sharika Jackson wants her achievements to inspire the next generation. Jackson, who was also a silver medalist in the 100 meters at the Oregon World Championships, expressed the gratitude for the award. I'm definitely feeling good to know that everybody's watching and we are working and our hard work is being recognized. So I'm definitely grateful. Also receiving the order of distinction was former J3A's president, Dr. Warren Blake. Sports Minister Olivia Bamsey Grange received the order of Jamaica. Track and field coach Michael Clark and agent Claude Bryan received the order of distinction in the rank of officer for their contributions to the sport. Former national tennis player Richard Russell was conferred with the order of distinction in the rank of officer for his contribution to the sport. And former reggae girls manager Jean Nelson was honored posthumously uh, for her contribution to women's football. Horace Clue and Pamela Downer Gaynor received the badge of honor for a meritorious service for their contributions to sports and community development. And to the courts, Makai Malcolm took the men's title at the Levi uh, Cheeks uh, couple's swept away tennis tournament after his opponent, Jermaine Meikle, retired in the second set at 3-0 down. Malcolm, who, who had earlier won the opening set, 6-love, walked away with the $250,000 winner's purse. The number one seed, Pauline Hilton, was upset by number three seed, Shanika Knight, on the women's side, 6-4, 6-2, as she took home the $95,000 cash prize. And that's where we leave the courts for now. And I am Jermaine Brown. Shane, back to you. Thanks, Jermaine. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shane Masters. Join us again at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news, sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.